<laughs> Hi, friends. So we continue to explore new companies and uh, innovation devices, technologies and uh, products in our demo space at Biohacking Congress. And now I came to the demo table of the Siri Clinic. And uh, we are going to talk with uh, Harry Adelson, who is founder of the Siri Clinic. Happy to meet you here. First of all, thank you for joining us. Uh, your lecture was exciting. And also you already answered a lot of questions at the panel discussion. But uh, let's uh, talk more about your personal story. And I also have questions uh, um, about this therapy. Happy to learn more from such a great uh, professional and uh, very high level doctor as you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Julie. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, so please uh, tell us more, when did you start and how you found it? Mm, how did you create this company and uh, how maybe your personal story interconnected with your company story? Maybe you started it on some purpose as many founders, uh, they start their companies to find some solution for themselves. And uh, maybe probably uh, you have your personal story, how it is interconnected with company story. Well, Julia, originally I wanted, the reason I went to naturopathic school is because I wanted to go up against the big food industry. When I was younger, I loved Frank Zappa, the musician, and I listened to a lot of Frank Zappa. And if you know Frank Zappa, his lyrics are very subversive. It's about, uh, he, he mostly makes fun of the entertainment industry. So uh, when I was a first-year student at McGill University in Montreal, I took a course. This was in 1986. I took a course called Food and Nutrition in Prehistoric Societies, which, you know, is pretty amazing because it was so long ago and, and, and it was, there was an official course on what is basically paleo diet. And uh, I took this course and it explained how the food industry really is, does everything it can to addict people to salty and sugary things. And how, you know, the, these industries do not, these big companies do not have the patients or people's uh, best health in mind. They're really just trying to make a sale. And I, I was horrified by that. So I actually wanted to be... The, I wanted to be the Frank, what Frank Zappa was to the entertainment industry, I wanted to be to the big food industry. So that's why I went to naturopathic school. Well, in my first year at naturopathic school, I uh, was rock climbing very heavily and I had a shoulder injury. And that is what shifted my interest because I uh, had, the, had the, you know, I sp saw a surgeon and he said, well, I can put a scope in there, I can cut out the cartilage. Wow, how did it happen? Yeah, it was, it was training for rock climbing. So I did a, this cross-through move in the gym, and I heard a pop, and I actually tore the labrum in my shoulder. So the shoulder is a ball and socket. The labrum is the, the, the cartilage that covers the socket portion. And you know, I saw a surgeon. He said, I can cut away that piece of cartilage, uh, but it's going to give you problems later in life. And it made no sense to me. That's right. So then I found out about regenerative injection therapy, which was the precursor, that was the, 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 the predecessor to stem cell therapy. I was treated with that, and it worked so well that I knew that's what I wanted to do. And then later it evolved to stem cell therapy. Uh, so you started uh, as a nutriopathic doctor and uh, then you switched uh, to this industry. Great. And uh, when did you start your uh, company? Uh, when did you, when have you built this clinic? And uh, yeah. Um, I graduated uh, National College of Naturopathic Medicine in 1999. And then I was fortunate enough to have done one of the few hospital-based residencies available to naturopathic doctors. That was at the Yale Griffin Hospital in Derby, Connecticut. And then I opened my practice in, at that time, Salt Lake City in 2002. And from day one, it's been regenerative injection therapy. The, in the beginning, it was the injection of natural substances trick the body into thinking that you've undergone a severe new injury, launches the body's natural healing cascade. That turned into platelet-rich plasma in about 2006. Uh, we take the blood, the, the blood from a person, concentrate down the platelets, inject the platelets. Similarly, launches the body's natural healing cascade. And then in 2010, I learned to aspirate bone marrow stem cells. And that's where the stem cells started. 
Uh, when do you suggest uh, to use this cell cell therapy? Uh, you know, for what conditions it can help? Or if I don't have in, any illnesses or conditions or injuries, uh, do I still need this therapy? And for what purposes? What benefits can I get? Uh, maybe it helps uh, uh, to be beautiful m more long period of time, I guess. Um, probably for what purposes? Sure. So my practice, you can sort of divide it into two categories. About half of my patients come to me for specific pain concerns, mostly low back pain, neck pain, or joint pain, hips, knees, ankles, uh, shoulders, elbows, wrists. Uh, it, for those people, we do what I sort of affectionately call a la carte treatment. So a lot of times people will have more than one area. Maybe we're doing their low back and their hips. Maybe we're doing their neck and their knees, something like that. Or some, you know, any combination you can think of. That's about half the people I see. The other half are biohackers, are people who are, in, who are interested in longevity and being very active throughout a very long life. And that's why I developed full body stem cell makeover. And full body stem cell makeover, like it sounds, is the injection of stem cells into every moving part in the human body. So we do, we do it under IV sedation, so the person goes comfortably to sleep. We aspirate the fat, isolate the stem cells from the fat, uh, uh, aspirate the bone marrow, concentrate the stem cells from the bone marrow, supplement with the exosomes. Then we do every layer of the spine from the base of the skull down to the tailbone, turn the person over, do both shoulders, both elbows, both wrists and thumbs, both uh, hips, both knees, both ankles, and great toe. Then my practice partner, Dr. Amy Killen, she can do the skin of the face to improve elasticity and hydration. She can do the scalp to, inc to thicken the hair follicles. And then in men, the penis, and women, the vagina, to improve sexual function. Great. <laughs> so, very interesting. And uh, what kind of benefits... Uh your patients uh, have uh, when you do all this therapy uh, so we recharge our cells yes yeah so if you if we go back to those two categories the people who do have pain mm -hmm. neck pain low back pain something like that those people get a reduction in pain which can be a major shift in their quality of life for people who who aren't don't have so much pain to begin with and they're doing it more for preventive reasons well those people the way they describe it is you know how you feel after you get a really great massage and just for a few days you feel more pliable and limber uh, and then it kind of goes away well people describe it's like that except it lasts for years uh, so it is like after very good uh, mas massage, but for more long period of time. And here is a very interesting question. How often should we take such therapy? Well, if we're treating a specific area for a painful condition, we treat the area and then we wait a year. Now, the thing to keep in mind is this therapy is the opposite of a steroid injection. If somebody has like an elbow pain or a shoulder pain and they get a steroid injection, if it's indicated and it's done properly, it's going to take the pain completely away for two months and then it's gonna come back and you're right back to where you were. This is the opposite. Stem cell therapy, you do the treatment and then you have no improvement in the beginning. It takes two months to even begin to get improvement. Then at about between two months and six months is where you have the majority of the improvement and people continue to improve over the first year. So then at the end of a year, we, re we check back in. Mm -hmm. The majority of people at that point are happy. And by happy, I don't necessarily mean 100% pain relief, but they've had enough pain relief that they're glad that they did it and they don't feel like they need another mm -hmm. treatment. Smaller percentage of people uh, at the one year mark have had some improvement, but they'd like a little more. So maybe we do another treatment at the one year mark. Smaller number, again, around 10% of the people I treat, I just don't help at all. Hmm. For, for it also uh, Such uh, cases also happen when it doesn't uh, help, yeah? Yeah, unfortunately, nothing fixes everything. And uh, you know what I, what I found the most important predictor of whether or not stem cell therapy will help really is not even how advanced 
their pain condition is. It's more about their overall health. If they are, if they're healthy, I'm going to have a much better chance at a good at a good outcome. Yeah. Uh, regarding those, uh, another half of uh, people. Uh, when they don't have any pain and they just would like to live longer and uh, healthy life. And uh, how often you suggest uh, use this therapy if they are not treating any disease, they just for overall health? I wouldn't do for full body stem cell makeover, for instance, I would do it the most frequently would be every five years. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it sooner than five years because it's a very large bone marrow aspiration, which I think to do occasionally is not a problem, but you wouldn't want to do it every, you know, like once a year or something like that. So with full body stem cell makeover, I tell people every five years. Uh, so it is not so often, and I think uh, it is a great competitive advantage uh, in comparison with another therapy, because uh, if you spend some time in clinic and uh, you don't need to repeat it five years uh, it's, and you still have results, it's great. So it's good to know. Thank you for explaining this. <laughs> uh, maybe you can explain how it, how long should we stay in clinic? So. People come and uh, you prepare them somehow. I sh I'm sure you uh, maybe do some uh, research, first of all, and uh, clinical studies. And uh, uh, of course, you don't do it without prescription, I guess, yeah? Uh, so uh, how long does it take to check the body if it is allow it to do this therapy? And uh, how long people stay in your clinic and... Uh, after this therapy, uh, uh, how long they come to normal life, this usual life? Sure. So the best way, the normal pathway, is people read the website, and I have a lot of information on there. And so basically most of people's que questions get answered just by reading the website. Then if they fill out, it's, I think it's like five pages of forms, simple forms, and then send that in to me, communicate with my staff just through, through the main website, get those, uh, get those papers in. I'll review them at no charge. So I'll look over them. And usually because I ask these very specific questions, I have a good idea whether or not I think I can help somebody. And if I don't think I'm going to help them, we don't continue. But if I think I have a chance at helping them, then we schedule a 30-minute consult over the, either over the phone or on I'm remotely, yes, remotely. The mat, eighty percent of my patients come from outside of the state of Utah, so we do it remotely. And so, but in thirty minutes, I can get a very clear idea of whether or not I think I can help somebody, and I can give them an estimate, a bid, because I I, I know what it is that I want to do. And most people ask, well, I'd like I'd like one bid for what it would be to do my neck and my knee and my shoulder. And then another bit, a bid to know to do full body stem cell makeover. And then people make a decision and then they schedule. Now it's, it's complex scheduling it because it, it's not an acupuncture treatment. It's a big treatment. It's, it's, a, it's a commitment. Mm -hmm. So people usually schedule six to eight weeks in advance. Mm -hmm. And they come in. Uh, we, we ask people to plan on spending a minimum of three nights. So get to Park City. Mm -hmm. Uh, the the night before there's two hotels walking distance from my clinic and I prefer that you stay in those because then that way if anything comes up I can just walk across the street and help you right uh, so get here the day before the morning of your procedure you don't eat or drink anything because you're gonna be sedated you meet with me we have plenty of time to go over all the details you meet with anesthesia uh, they answer any questions you might have. You meet with my nurse who explains what to expect after, then we get started. Uh, procedure takes anywhere from one hour to three hours, depending on what we're doing. And then we keep you for another hour or two while you're waking up and then send you back to your hotel. We prefer that you're traveling with somebody, but if you're by yourself, we'll connect you with a home health care service. Um, then we like you to you know, spend that night, obviously. We like you to spend the, ne the entire next day and then the next night because we just don't want you rushing off to the airport. So the next day, people are usually fine, in, fine to come in. We check on you, check the dressings, check your incisions, send you back to your hotel, and then most people are ready to travel the next day. Yeah, great.
So uh, it's actually not hospital, but very close to this model because uh, you uh, track results and you prepare your patient and uh, they always live close to you and uh, each time you can uh, communicate and even come to them if they have some issues, for example. Right, right. Uh, I see some book here. So can you tell me more about this? And you also mentioned that uh, you have some um, movie, yeah? So this is just a self-published book that I put together, The Stem Cell Solution, just telling my whole story because it was really a big adventure learning stem cell medicine because when I learned it there were only like 10 people in the United States doing it. Oh, it's interesting information. Yeah. Success. So we yeah. Like pioneer for it, this medicine. Are you could That's So here is very interesting information so Harry Adelson like a pioneer of this industry. So nobody did it before <laughs> when you started. Nice. So I, I ended up in order to learn because nobody was doing it in the U.S. and the few doctors who were weren't sharing any information. Mm -hmm. So I traveled all through Central and South America to learn from the people who'd been doing it the longest. So I wanted to just put it on paper. Um, I, I'm, we're in the process of putting this on Amazon. It isn't currently on Amazon, but you can download a free you know ebook version on my website, dosariclinics.com. And the, and the other thing that you can see is uh, I also have a documentary film, a 60-minute documentary film, uh, not going into as much detail as the book, but a lot of patient interviews. Uh, ra yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, ranging from some of my sort of cowboy patients to some of my celebrity patients, mm -hmm. such as Dave Asprey and mm -hmm. Vishen Lakhiani and John Gray and mm -hmm. Jim Quick and those guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, if it's not a uh, secret, uh, most celebrities, most of all, they come uh, because some injuries or they come to just uh, keep them very in good, high quality of their body and health. So why they come to you? Well, it's a bit of both because most people have some aches and pains. Vishen Lakhiani, for instance, had a bad sciatica. And we treated his sciatica, and we're, I'm happy to say we cured his sciatica. Uh, Dave, Dave Asprey, of course, had knee pain and shoulder pain, which we helped him with. His wife had a very severe post-whiplash syndrome, lots of neck pain and headaches that we were able to help her with. But then you get people like John Gray, uh, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. He had some neck pain, but he wanted a full-body stem cell makeover, and I'm happy to say we did help him with his neck pain, but then he also experienced what I was describing to you, where just everything felt more fluid and pliable afterwards. Mm -hmm. And so uh, where can I download this uh, documentary movie? Where? Uh, you can either go to stemcellsolutionfilm. Mm -hmm. Dot com, or you can just get it from the homepage of my website, dosariclinics.com. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> so excited to have for interview Harry Adelson and uh, really recommend the Siri Clinic. You can see that a lot of celebrities uh, use this therapy and uh, I think it's uh, perfect when you can use this therapy once in five years and uh, have such a great results.